Hi, I'm Jason. This video is on the gambler's fallacy. The gambler's fallacy is the false belief that an outcome not recently realized in a sequence of independent draws is more likely to occur on the next draw. For example, following three flips of a coin that all come up heads, a person experiencing the gambler's fallacy would believe that a tail is more likely on the next flip. Using data from Rappaport and Butterscu, Rabin and Vayonos derived the probability of heads predicted by experimental subjects, given the last three flips being heads or tails. Following a sequence of three heads, they predict heads on the next flip with only 30% probability. But after three tails, they predict heads on the next flip with 70% probability. One explanation for the gambler's fallacy is representativeness. For example, people not, do not see the sequence of coin flips head, 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 as representative of flipping a fair coin six times. They see head, head, tails, tails, head, head, as more representative, even though both sequences have the same probability of occurring. An alternative explanation is that people believe in the law of small numbers. They overestimate the degree to which a small sample will resemble the population from which it is drawn. For example, if a fair coin is flipped six times, they will overestimate the likelihood the results will be three heads and three tails. Imagine an urn filled with red balls and black balls. You draw balls from the urn with replacement. The red balls are drawn with probability P and the black balls are drawn with probability one minus P. Assume Freddy knows the probabilities P and one minus P, but wrongly assumes that balls are drawn from the urn without replacement. If he believes there are n balls in the urn, he expects a sample of n balls to match p and 1 minus p exactly. Under Freddy's beliefs, outcomes are correlated. Under the actual process where balls are replaced, the outcomes are uncorrelated. Imagine Freddy plays roulette. The roulette wheel contains 36 slots, 18 black and 18 red. Assume that Freddy believes there are 18 red and 18 black balls in the urn. Freddy observes four spins of the wheel before betting. He observes a sequence of four reds. An unbiased belief would be that the sequence of reds tells him nothing about future draws because the outcomes are un uncorrelated. However, Freddy believes that after four reds, black is more likely on the next spin. He is wrongly computing the probability based on a belief that only 14 reds remain along with 18 blacks. That is, he believes the probability of five reds following a sequence of four, four reds, as in the receiving the fifth red, equals the number of reds in the urn divided by the number of reds plus the number of blacks, that is the total number of balls, which equals 18 minus four divided by 18 minus four plus 18 equals 0 0.438. In reality, the probability of five reds in a row given four reds in a row equals 0 0.5. Freddie is suffering from the gambler's fallacy.